Hello, my friends. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be reading from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to read 1 Samuel 13. Saul fights the Philistines. So turn it up, listen up, and focus. This is the Word of God. 1 Samuel 13. Saul was five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned and two years over Israel. Now, that's not how it goes. How it's written here is Saul was blank years old when he began to reign, and he reigned blank and two years over Israel. Saul chose 3,000 men of Israel. 2,000 were with Saul in Michmash and the hill country of Bethel, and 1,000 were with Jonathan in Gibeah of Benjamin. The rest of the people he sent home, every man to his tent. Jonathan defeated the garrison of the Philistines that was at Geba, and the Philistines heard of it. And Saul blew the trumpet throughout all the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. And all Israel, uh, Israel heard it and said that Saul had defeated the garrison of the Philistines, and also that Israel had become a stench to the Philistines. And the people were called out to join Saul and Gilgal. And the Philistines mustered to fight with Israel 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and troops, like the sand of the seashore in multitude. They came up and encamped in Michmash to the east of Beth Avon. When, when the men, when the men of Israel saw that they were in trouble, for the people were hard pressed, the people hid themselves in the caves and in holes and in rocks and in tombs and in cisterns. And some Hebrews crossed the fords of the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. Saul was still at Gil Gilgal, and all the people followed him, trembling. Saul's unlawful sacrifice. 13.8 He waited seven days, the time appointed by Samuel. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people were scattering from him. So Saul said, Bring the burnt offering here to me, and the peace offering. And he offered the burnt offering. As soon as he had finished offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came. And Saul went out to meet him and greet him. Samuel said, What have you done? And Saul said, When I saw that the people were scattering from me, and that you did not come within the days appointed, and that the Philistines had mustered at Mishbash, I said, Now the Philistines will come down against me at Gilgal, and I have not sought the favor of the Lord. So I forced myself and, and offered the burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the command of your Lord, your God, with which, you, which he commanded over you. For the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever, but now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart. The Lord has commanded him to be prince over his people, because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. And Samuel rose and went from Gilgal. The rest of the people went up after Saul to meet the army, then went up to Gilgal to Gibeah of Benjamin. And Saul numbered the people who were present with him about 600 men. And Saul and Jonathan, his son, and the people who were present with him stayed in Geba of Benjamin. But the Philistines encamped in Michmash. And raiders came out of the camps of the Philistines in three companies. One company turned towards uh, Ophrah and the land of Shua. Another company turned toward Beth Horon. And another company turned toward the border that looks down on the valley of uh, Zeboim toward the wilderness. This would be 1319. Now there was a blacksmith to be found throughout all the land of Israel. For the Philistines said, Lest the Hebrews make themselves swords or spears. But every one of the Israelites went down to the Philistines to sharpen his plowshare, his mattock, his axe, or his sickle. Uh-oh. <laughs> and the charge was two-thirds of a shekel for the plowshares and for the mattocks, and the third of the shekel for sharpening the axes and for setting the goads. So on the day of the battle there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people with Saul and Jonathan. But Saul and Jonathan, his son, had them. And the garrison of the Philistines went out to pass a mishmash. That was 1 Samuel 13, the Word of God. Alright guys, stay in the Word of God. God loves you. May peace always be with you. Bye.